one school in Chickamauga is in such demand, more than half of their students have to go through an interview before they're even accepted into the public school. News Channel 9's Brandon Evans spent the day at the Chickamauga Elementary School. He tells us why parents go the extra mile to send their kids to those classrooms. If you know where to look, you'd see some pretty cool new things this year at Chickamauga Elementary School. These teachers are dancing in front of the school to welcome kids back from summer break. New this year, kids are rewarded with the chance to dance inside their classroom if they build up enough good behavior points. But all this fun has to be earned. And for more than half the students, earning it starts with an interview. Our students each year must um, interview to be accepted to our school. Principal Jeff Sykes says close to 55% of the students live outside the city limits, but that's not stopping parents from trying to get their kid enrolled there. When all the students that are accepted to our school receive a golden ticket in the mail and a golden envelope and the parents' favorite golden glitter. Many students had that golden ticket today which they could trade in for a bag full of school supplies. So, why is this school in such high demand? The last uh, four out of six years, we've won Title I highest performing elementary school in the state of Georgia for small district. Sykes says the school has taken the close to $175,000 they've won over the last six years and put it right back into the classrooms. Even fifth grade students like Maggie and Jenny Beth talked about the value of interviewing and winning that golden ticket. As a little kid, we're not used to many things like that, so getting to talk to him was pretty like a privilege. I want to make an example for all of like the younger kids. Sykes credits the awards and high demand for admission to the hard work and innovation of the faculty and staff. Each and every year we try to get better. You know, if you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. I'm Brandon Evans, News Channel 9. The school principal tells us the award money helped them become a wireless school with a growing collection of e-books and more than 400 tablets.